live from Austin, where we all eat edibles, listen to long cuts of the shittiest noodle bands we can find. It's going to be a great night. Now, buy your block tickets now, but remember, you must be this tall to ride this podcast. Because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. Justin Robert Young. All right, all right. Uh, I, 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 look, I, I, I just want to thank you. Um, I know that you were very, very busy over the last 96 hours, but the fact that we took so much time to like choreograph and learn our very complicated handshake. Yeah. Means a lot to me. Are yeah. you ready for it? Let's go. Okay, all Here right. Here we go. I, 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 you know what? I, I'm a little bit nervous. How does it begin again? Well, you come in at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah go. Okay. And then. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. And then finally, of course, ha, yep. Uh, <laughs> Best handshake ever. Nicely. Done. Everybody should learn it. Please, please don't expect us to remember it. I'm at a, I'm at a guess. No. <laughs> We're done. It's been a great show, everybody. Good show, everybody. Play the song. Well, what I've learned is it's, it's been a lot. Like, like, like if, if, if we can, you know, peel uh, goatsy out the curtain for a little bit. It, it's, 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 it's been a lot over the last five years. <laughs> days. Five wow. years. <laughs> Christ. Like five years. It's been a lot. It's been five days. It's been five days since you looked at me. Tell your head inside, <laughs> said I'm angry. Four days since, uh, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. We've had uh, we've had a lot of shit popping. We released uh, uh, what we're gonna talk about. World's Greatest Count in a second, but we released that. We but, had but the uh, last a live night, show. You did a live in, show at, uh, at uh, Alamo the Alamo Draft, Draft House. House. Sold yeah. that, sold that bitch out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was good. It was it was pretty great to sneak in and realize. Oh wait, there's not a seat for me, and then find a seat anyway, and uh, then yeah. try to buy try to buy a beer, and then the, the, somebody just hits me as like, allow me to put that on my table. Allow me. And yeah. I was like, hey, hey, hey. by the way, it turns out we didn't have to worry about hitting the food and bev mem. Holy shit, people! Uh, Everybody both ate and drank were, a lot. People yeah, people were eating and drinking. Yeah, and they uh, uh, it, as it was described to me, our food and beverage minimum was hit with one person walking down the front row and looking at everybody's checks like. Uh, no, so thank you to everybody who came out. It was super awesome. We're not wrong live. Uh, me, Jen, and Heaton. Uh, it was it was super super fun. We will definitely be doing it. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, I'm tired, man. I fucking went to sleep too late last night. I woke up. I did PX3. Joe Byron's running around and and Joe Byron. Joe Byron, man. <laughs> that man's crazy. Who? Uh, uh, Joe Byron. He's battling for the soul of the of the nation again. Right. But two souls, two nations. <laughs> Joe Byron. Yeah. Okay. That's what they call him on the side talk video series. You ever seen those? They're like clips online. Of course, of I people have. in New York. Yeah. And it's like who hasn't? They're edited together into like these fifteen second blasts. Actually, Bryce, if you could, if you could uh, uh, search for just one of yeah. them. Yeah, if you could rub in my face the thing I'm definitely familiar with, that'd be great. Uh, but they're actually they're really funny. They're like a great example of like all killer, no filler. How many butts are in there? There's some butts. <laughs> There's some butts. There's definitely people uh, uh, shaking butts. It's a lot of very excited New Yorkers. Are are we approaching peak butt? Well, I mean, according to Thug Shaker Central, we are. Go on. That's a butt meme, man. There's yep. a lot of butts in these memes. Are they real butts? 
the butts that I saw in the thug shaker video that was sent to me because we talked about thug shaking. All right, here we go. This is this is side talk. <laughs> Show Byron. Byron. Who? Byron. Say what's up to Byron. What's up, Byron? I'm the boardwalk king. Let's see a spell. Byron, here I am. I'm nobody, but I'm a somebody in the Lord. Jesus Christo! <laughs> hey, yo, we got Byron's Car Wash live from Coney Island. Are you vaccinated? Yes, sir. What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the day. Hey, yo, who you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Beans right, Jesus Christ, and Byron. Who? Byron. Who? Byron. What you got to tell Joe Byron right now? Bring me to the White House, baby. Hey, yo, he's kissing the cop. What you going to do when you see Joe Byron in the <laughs> Oval Office? I'm going to give him a big old kiss. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's good to see the little guy speaking truth to power. You know, you know, I think so. I think it's like Mr. Smith goes to Washington, but with an <laughs> indigent man in Coney Island. <laughs> if he didn't go to Washington, he just yelled <laughs> well, for you two. Yeah, 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 Joe, Joe Byron, <laughs> I, I can't even believe that you're not doing whatever it is I'm advocating for because I haven't seen the movie. Hey, yo. <laughs> That'd be a good. That'd be a good viral clip. Just Jimmy Stewart we're, we're and then just the same that guy. Being like an AI generated yeah. perfect Mr. Smith goes to Washington thing. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, hey Bryce, what's your first topic? I mean, I mean. Middle school friend. So, uh, when I was in middle school, uh, I changed. Well. I went to a bunch of schools when I was a kid uh, because my family moved around a lot and I was going Got to him. a different school for middle school than all my friends in elementary school were going to. So I didn't know anybody. And I took this as an opportunity so I could change my name from Justin to JR. There are a portion of people who know me in my life who predominantly know me not as Justin, but as JR, as wow. in Justin Robert. Uh, I, I went as Jr. Uh, for Justin. Uh, yeah. If I may hypothesize for just a quick moment, go would, ahead. Would this be right around the time that Dallas was very popular on the TVs? How fucking old do you think I am? <laughs> I rescind my question. <laughs> Were you oh. shot, Justin? Did they shoot you a lot? Is exactly. That <laughs> is that the uh, is that the around the time that Amos and Andy <laughs> was very popular on television? <laughs> I believe that was the time when train pulls into station was driving <laughs> audiences wild. Uh, I don't want to birth a nation here. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> what? That's another old movie. You got yeah. one now. Uh, yeah. uh, look, it's still the best director Oscar, well, so you're, yeah, you're right. That's true. Um, so one of the few people that I still talked to, or that actually I have not talked to in 20 years, but I was friends with back then uh, is... Uh, my friend Michelle, who I, I fell out of contact with after I had left middle school because we went to different high schools. But uh, all of a sudden, where I'm on Facebook and and she's like, responds to something. And so we wind up going back and forth in this Facebook thread. And then she messages me. And she's like, wait a minute. When were you in Austin? And I'm like, I live in Austin. She's like, bullshit. I live in Austin. The next thing you know, we list this We're Not Wrong live show and my wife makes the smart decision that we should make a Facebook group for it so all of our local friends can know about it. And the first ticket sold is to Michelle. Oh. So Michelle is ticket number one uh, uh, to see this show, and I see her walk in. Uh, uh, she is very... Uh, she's a life coach. She is a free spirit. Yes. Fill in the rest. Expand, expand the rest uh, in 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 your head. As somebody who shared a part of your uh, developing adolescence, how concerned are you with making sure you that she has a good experience? Because because there there's a bit of a a, a conflict, right? Like like like, do you want to put all of your attention into the show that will be you know? put out on an RSS feed, or do you want to put some amount of effort into making sure she has a good time live I, in that I, moment? I tend to have the philosophy that I am not going to focus on anything else other than making this the best possible show for the audience. And, and also, I also have a bit of a phobia 
of not making live shows good for podcast audience for the like people that, who are there that's no 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 for the listeners at home got it so 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 you would and and actually i'm really glad to hear this so 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 you would place in the hierarchy you would place who's here right now that i can entertain and yes. make laugh higher than sorry other people uh, that this joke didn't land it's a visual gag no i i actually would put the people at home probably higher uh, uh, not necessarily then the people that are there, but I would put them in the same thing because what I hate is putting all the time, effort, and pain to put together a live show, and then the audience that hears it, the, the, the larger audience that hears it is like, fuck live shows, live shows suck, especially because I just listened to so much Harmontown, and I'm yeah. like, they don't have to. Sometimes the audio is not as good, but they, they just need to be special. They need to be good. Uh, anyway, but but specifically, like, let's say whoever is on stage with you wanted to make a giant, spectacular visual bit involving a very complicated handshake that involved hands going yes. up your shirt yes. and making erect nipples. That would be a bad decision. No, because this is our regular show. Oh, they know okay. what, they right, know right, what they're right. fucking that, getting into. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Michelle's there and I. We're talking about, and you'll listen to this in the episode next week, but uh, Michelle Williamson, who is running for president in the Democratic Party, uh, who is going to ignore her, uh, she is popular on TikTok. I called her a name on stage that I had always heard from fans of Marianne Williamson as a a, a pet name, so like a, a stand name, and that is Orb Mommy. Because she's a very spiritual person. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah. 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 You've heard you've heard Orb Mommy. I have right? heard of Orb Mommy, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh it, it, am I understanding it right in that the Orb Momminess is like a, a holistic kind of, you know, uh, some kind of like spiritual greater yes. than yourself. Uh, uh, yeah, just somebody that is okay. like like she is she has this very uh sure uh, of, of herself. Air, yeah, uh, and she and she makes pronouncements about spiritual health and stuff like that. So there's a there's a picture. There's a, there's a oh, physical shit. representation uh, yeah, uh, of you know what? Mommy. Uh, I, I, turns out I have a pretty good Chat GPT AI image generator right upstairs, and yes. that's exactly what I pictured. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so the Virgin Williamson supporter and the post ironic Orb gangster would be the other <laughs> meme there. Uh, so. I mentioned Marion Williamson as Orb Mommy. Oh no. And I, the, oh, no. one of the first people to come down and ask a question during oh, our no. QA period is Michelle. Uh, Michelle. Was it was it was it like a detached ironic question or was it a unironic in the moment full believer question? It was a question that began uh why is Marion Williamson not taken more seriously, including what you did earlier, which was bullshit by <laughs> belittling her by calling her orb mommy. Yeah. It was belittling. So, uh, okay, so it sounds an awful lot like my first question was uh, prescient because yeah. uh, do you pay more attention to the live audience versus the at-home audience? And it sounds like whatever decision you made led to... that. That is, yes. Now the very in-the-moment question of, oh, dear. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what did you say? Uh, well, I, I I said, look, this is uh, what I understood to be a a, 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 a I thought a, this a was a safe friendly space. Uh, a friendly nickname, uh, and she you know kind of pushed on, and I was like, uh, we are actually going to dedicate the entire Patreon episode of this, which we're going to record right after uh, we wrap up this Q and A period, to Marion Williamson. And uh, uh, she was excited, and uh, then we then we did ju just that. But there was one heart attack moment where I was like, "Oh, oh okay, this <laughs> Michelle uh, is gonna. She's waited twenty five years to whip my ass in front of a bunch of fans, well, and, a bunch of paying fans." And and also, this show is the right amount of live audience where it's big enough to be a, an event, something that you're very excited. But also small enough that you can see and recognize all the faces who are at also the event. a big shout out to the Alamo Draft House. It was a fantastic. They were very very nice to us. Uh, they got us hooked up with everything that we needed to. One problem with the Alamo Draft House. Yep. They are not built for theatrical lighting in the way that you would do a live performance. It was a little bit odd that I walked in and 
fluorescent lights were on. Yes, because they only have two settings. The cleaning up popcorn. To clean, up, clean up all the popcorn or watching the a movie. so dark that you could watch a movie yeah. in it. There's no in between. So you don't get a lot of mood lighting with, with, the, with, with, with the draft house or at least not in that theater. So, uh, yeah, I could definitely see everybody's face. Uh, that, uh, to be honest, like, like I, again, I walked in on just the last third, uh, but, but it was very clear that everybody was present and focused. Um, I, I, I don't think the lighting took anything away. No, I uh, think it's fine. It was, it was a full auditorium everybody was in. Most importantly, somehow I got in, I sat down, and I did not pay for a ticket, and I tried to buy a drink, and the person next to me put his arm on my arm and said, let me get this. And it was... And then they put their arm under your arm my, and my, became and your my, arm. My shirt. <laughs> and, then, and then said, and then said, hmm, I'm Brian Brushwood. I'm thinking about whether or not I will accept this beer. All I'm saying is it was the best live anything I've ever seen ever, full stop. Uh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is that is very very kind of you. Uh, it was uh, super fun. I, I think that that is a that is that is a great live show uh, to do, and it is so fun working with uh, Heaton and, and Briny on. And it's a real bummer that that Briny's leaving town. Yeah, the, the, well, uh, put a pin in that. But 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 in the room, everybody had a leaning in. Uh, leaning forward energy like it was very clear nobody nobody was checking their phones nobody was trying to be present somewhere anywhere yeah anywhere other than where they Probably were because right i now. could see all of them <laughs> and i would judge them with this with this keen fluorescent light vision you're you're kind of leading into my point okay. which is which is like maybe uh, we should always have full lights for all shows i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying i saw no phones out i saw nobody Pretending like they were distracted with a, oh, my wife, my kids, or whatever. Everybody was fully present. Was, somebody in the chat said it felt like a college lecture. And it kind of yeah. did where people had unlimited drinks and food. Like it was it was stadium seating in the same way that a that a lecture would be, but it was nice ass seats and everybody was drinking and eating. It it was truly great. I and uh, says the person who only showed up for the last third. Uh, it was great. It was really, really great. Well, almost as great as this next topic. R.I.P. Cable News. Oh, man. Everyone is losing their jobs. Roll call. Who lost their job? Brian. Nope. <laughs> Tucker Carlson. Yep. <laughs> Emerald Lagasse. I think I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Don Lemon. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> we're, we're talking about the fact that uh, 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 there, there was an Dr. accident. Tucker Carlson yeah. and Don Lemon got fired. Uh, and Nate Silver uh, of 538 uh, appears to be on his way out at ABC News as well. There is a lot of top talent being shed and i would like to be among the first to say welcome to patreon <laughs> <laughs> jump on in boys the water's fine i mean except for don't jump in maybe 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 be sad and not dilute the value of patreon.com no, or i want all their audience to know what patreon is yeah. I want I want them all to know we're here Brian Find them up. we we did we did the hard part we we set up our our town. Are 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 are, are you a hundred percent certain that we don't want to like you know take credit for Tucker Carlson going away and imply that everybody else's favorite anything's on television could also go away and that the only way to definitely have all the things you want is to go to patreoncom slash great night. I think we should do that too. Okay, all right. Como no se dos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was this a bloodletting because of of the lawsuit? We or? don't know. And in fact, the fact that a lot of these things have happened at the same time make me more into the idea that the ad market sucks. Uh, it sucks everywhere. And Name now all one of a sudden, example that's world's greatest God gone, where we had to Arama. push up against that. We had to. We had to fucking get a little get a little sassy. Yeah, with our with our ads. Yeah. 
the lighter Sassy story. ads. Yeah, we don't need to do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. Uh, uh, no, no, it's it, it's a dumb behind the scenes story. It's not a, it's yeah. not a real. I mean, like the ad market sucks. That's here's here's the story. The that ad is, market sucks. That is a fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Turns out when everyone was trapped in their homes during a pandemic, really good time to sell ads. Uh, yeah. Turns out now that people can go outside. Trees are somehow better than podcasts. Oh, and money, I don't understand it. And and money isn't free anymore. Yeah, that's the other problem. And so, like everybody that was advertising on podcasts for yeah, an idea where two brothers got a bunch of free money from a bunch of VCs, and then they were like, "Well, can, can, can we talk about this thing? What was with the 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 two best the, friends, the two brothers, about a, a husband yeah. and wife? Like I, a, every origin story was the exact same thing. Well, and, two and, two humans what? who just Wanted to say that we're tired with the regular diapers. We want laser diapers. <laughs> well, and and uh, on top of that, like incompetence somehow became a key strategy to a good business. It's like uh, uh, he never took a single rocketry class. Now he's flying to the moon. <laughs> like, 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 and you can too, right? I moon rockets, one every month. In your <laughs> in your silo uh, uh, for a low price. I Use never, promo code Rogue. They, everybody <laughs> laughed when I said rockets should be the new underwear. And now, what are you wearing? Rocket underwear. Rocker wear. <laughs> Rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the rocker wear. That whole phase was dumb. Yeah, any, but also it was keeping the entire industry afloat, as it turned out, because yeah. a bunch of other places that were higher-end stuff had left. If you've ever watched cable news recently, it was all the ads that were on podcasts that were also doing ads on cable news. So now if those are gone, they're fucked for everybody. And I think a lot of these companies are looking at some of their big contracts, especially ones that may or may not have been divas behind the scenes, and there's been stories about Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon specifically, and they're like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could do more with less. So, although Tucker Carlson's crazy man, because he was the number one ratings getter in all of cable. Like, welcome to a new segment called Wild Speculation on the comedy show Great Night, where, yeah. of course, nothing can be taken <laughs> seriously, <laughs> and we are <laughs> impervious <laughs> to lawsuits. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> how would you like to wildly speculate about what happened behind the scenes? <laughs> Hello, it's me, Ted Fox. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, what? what? I I'm sorry, I got a call from Rupert Murdoch. Uh, what? Uh, uh, Logan Roy has nothing, nothing to do with you. Whoops. Click. All right. Anyway, Tucker, <laughs> you're fired. Do you know why? No. Well, shit. <laughs> that was bad improv. <laughs> yeah. And that's why you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> But up, up. I didn't. I didn't. Yes, it. Now I was trying to think of a fucking Tucker Carlson. Like, uh, uh. So why wouldn't they yes and? But that's I, I can't do a yeah, I can't do a drifting in the yeah, We're getting yeah. into stossel. Yeah, government wants you to He's yes the only. And normally, that's my wheelhouse is doing yeah. impressions of conservative <laughs> commentators. Yeah, I'm Tucker Carlson. I got fired. <laughs> that's Rush Limbaugh. No, it's me, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> I can recycle the voice as soon as the mortal vessel has shuffled loose. Now I'm Tucker Carlson. It's me, robotic Rush Limbaugh. I came back from the dead and inhabited this other vessel. And together, we reinvented <laughs> toothbrushes. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thanks, to our, thanks to our friends at Quip, a g company that the government doesn't want you to support, we don't use any taxes to support our toothbrushes. Use promo code PATRIOT <laughs> and you'll get a toothbrush in the mail that Biden can't take away from you. I don't remember which one of us is playing which character. <laughs> Me either. It just promo the code PATRIOT. Here's a Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> keep going with Here's the AllSpark. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's do our cool handshake. <laughs> okay, oh, here God. we go. Pretend we did it. <laughs> totally remember. 
Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the rumor was that he was kind of an asshole. He was shooting everything, his entire show, at his house in Maine and Florida. He was not shooting it in New York City or D.C. We're talking about Tucker Carlson. Carlson. Yeah. Not, not Justin Roiland. N Justin Roiland? Yeah, who was also shooting all of his lines, recording all of his lines from his own studio in yes. his basement. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but did you have any... Okay. Little sus. IMO. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, I just got fired by Fox. <laughs> Wait, who are you? <laughs> I'm... Let me I'm a new character. <laughs> guy, oh, wow. Guy, guy who notices one similar thing <laughs> <laughs> between Tucker Carlson and Justin Roiland uh -huh. that involves people recording from home. What's your car? Which car do you drive, person uh, who yeah, just recognized that it's, one it's, simple it's, thing? It's such a fast car. It's like what? A, well, here, let me open up my garage. That's a Lamborghini. That's not mine. <laughs> So much lore. <laughs> anyway, hooray! <laughs> Flies away. Who wants to do a complicated? He's back. By the way, when he's talking. <laughs> can you? We need to get you an improv book. We need to get a book on improv. I've got one. I can let you borrow it <laughs> from the people who. Okay. I've... I. Uh, I don't know who that <laughs> <No>. was. <laughs> I stand behind <laughs> whatever their decisions were. <laughs> Price next stop, man. <laughs> Check marked. Well, folks, if you love Bon Mo's like that, you're going to love Brian Brushwood's Twitter account. Uh, Twitter.com slash Schwood. Brian, yep. you paid for Twitter Blue. Uh, well, um, oh, that's weird because I, I don't remember ever paying for Twitter. Twitter blue. Is there somebody who claimed that I paid for it? It says your account is verified because they are subscribed to Twitter blue. And then I stopped reading. And they verified their phone number. Yeah. Yeah. So you did that, right? So you subscribe to Twitter blue. Uh, you, you love Twitter blue. You're. I, hypothetically, if I did, yeah. would that be a good or bad thing? There's no, no, no problem. Ain't okay. no never mind. Hypothetically, what if I literally never lifted a finger and watched myself get unverified, verified, unverified, and then verified again in, oh, I don't know, say the last seven days? Seems far-fetched. Seems like you just paid for Twitter Blue. I bet you paid for Twitter Blue because it ends such a. And then you should I, just. I, I, oh, and, then, sudden, and then and I'm then suddenly very much not a fan of this bit. Now the man <laughs> of the people had his rightly earned verification check stripped from me, uh -oh. and as I have always said, my place belongs with the proletariat. Si se puede. Si se puede. Si se puede. Bryce. Yeah. Uh, how much did you pay for Twitter Blue? Oh, I don't pay for that shit. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's not, it's not bad that you paid for it. I, it's not bad that you paid for it's it. It's okay if you wanted to pay it's for okay. it. It's okay. You wanted to tw uh, write longer tweets, right? You know, you believe that free speech is important enough to pay $8 a month, and that's a thing about you. What if I told you yeah. that? None of it ever happened that for some reason, who's to say whether it's because of, I'm very popular on Twitter. You know what? Let's settle on that one. Mm. What if that's the reason all I of have this, it? all of these words would fit really well in a longer tweet that you can do because you paid for Twitter blue <laughs> <laughs> did not. I mean, I'm not currently. Why, why would that be bad? Why would that be bad? That you paid for it. That Brian Brushwood paid for Twitter Blue. All I know is that Justin broke everything when he pointed out that Elon Musk is the literal guy who built the engine that puts star bellies uh, on the Sneeches. star bellied sneeches with stars upon theirs. No, that yeah. is a literally thing that is happening. First, it was popular to have a star. Then it was popular to not have a star. Then it was popular to... And eventually, everyone gets along. And they do a cool handshake that looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> they <A> totally... <laughs>
Just imagine we did it. And then, yeah, Yeah, fast forward it. Somebody do an AI thing where we do it. Let's come back to the beginning of the show. Every time they're going to do it, just restart the episode. Just restart it. (laughs) Download it all over again. So, okay with all of this. Yeah. Uh, uh, So, no, yeah, it's it's fucked up. So, we both got our shit stripped on the same day. And then yours, and I, I believe everybody else who has a million subscribers... Got it back or which, more, which then became a thing of celebrities complaining <laughs> that they didn't pay for Twitter Blue, which was really funny. Uh, uh to watch funny. celebrities grovel about, like, I didn't pay for it, I didn't pay for it. If you think that I because I've been making fun of them for doing it, but I didn't pay for it, don't think I'm an asshole. Uh, I'm Stephen King, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm Stephen King. I wrote the Langoliers, but I didn't write a check to Elon Musk to fucking give me a Twitter blue. Hey, I got hit by a van, but I didn't get hit by this blue check mark that I paid for. Hey, I write books, but I don't want to write tweets that are more than 280 characters because... I didn't pay for Twitter Blue. Why don't you donate it to charity, Elon? I'm Stephen King. Uh, <laughs> that it's is... an alien. <laughs> uh, it's always it. an alien at the always end. An it's an alien. That That is one of the weird things is uh, folks who feel entitled to uh, uh, blue checks, like they're like, I made your platform, buddy. Uh, yeah. Uh, that one That one kind of weirds me out. Like, uh, all right. Like, like for free... You never paid a thing, and you get access to all these people, and now you're upset that eight whole dollars is being asked. Also, for the record, I do not pay for what. No, Twitter except Blue. for the fact that it says that you do. I don't. Yeah. Uh, also, they yeah. lie. It's the media. The, 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 media. the media lies. The media lies. The media lies. God damn it! Uh, please, I, I, but I, you're not ashamed of it. Okay, look, I know this is. You're gonna... not ashamed. But this, you didn't, but it's this not This is a going problem. to become a bit on the show, and I know everybody's going to tease me. Please understand that the reason it's a funny bit is because you don't. Correct. Anymore. Pay for Twitter blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like uh, Brian Brushwood pays for Twitter blue. I is not true. Is not true. Is not true. Is not true. <laughs> is not true. Whatever you do, be good at it. Just write it in two tweets. <laughs> Ashwood <laughs> pays for Twitter blue, uh, and then in another threaded tweet says, "Is an example of misinformation that we need to scrub <laughs> from this website." I, I, the worst part is, uh, I actually did subscribe for Twitter blue specifically for the ability to edit tweets, and yeah. then I on purpose. Said the c word and every like I just went on a crazy thing because I was told I would be able to edit them afterwards. Whoopsie doodle! Now I have a tattoo on the small of my back. That's just the, with c, the word. c word. Yeah, it's still there. Oh yeah. Why don't you delete it? Yeah, you can delete it. Yeah. That's what editing does. Editing just deletes it. Editing doesn't oh, even really? like edit it. It just deletes it and links to it. I mean, that was going to be the whole joke, but then I did like seven or eight more tweets pointing out that, oh, wait, I thought the whole purpose was so that I could edit uh-huh. and then I would fix it and it looks like I can't and Twitter blue sucks and wait, all that, that stuff. Wait, that was you actually doing that? I thought that was you doing a bit. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it was. It turned into a bit. It turned into a bit. Gotcha. Okay. All things being equal, I would have preferred to that just I could have just been thing. able to edit a simple the tweet. bit, yes. and not a Mr. Thought Bean it was a one note. fall down the stairs. Had yeah. to escalate. Gotcha. Had to escalate. Gotcha. Yeah. But you definitely stopped paying for Twitter Blue. This is a very good question because that we, no one is quite sure. I bet no one because sh- right now the only evidence we have. Is that when you go to twitter.com slash should if you believe it the media says that you are verified because you subscribe to Twitter Blue and you verified your phone number. Did you verify your phone number, yes or no? I mean, like like Yeah, I'm looking for a yes or no answer. <laughs> fourteen years ago. Fourteen years ago, what happened? Yeah. You know what happened fourteen years ago? What? I tricked you into following me specifically by my phone number on Twitter. Yep. So that every time I tweeted it showed up as a text message, and you had to read it. Wait, what? You don't remember that? No. What? That sounds uh, that no. sounds ridiculous. What did you just say? What? Well, there was a point in which Twitter was just via phone. It was just like like a, a SMS, a, a group right? text message, basically. I said, 
You know what? Of all the ways to follow me, Justin, the best would probably be for you to text follow at Schwood at 40404 right yeah. now, which you did. And about five years later, you complained, hey, man, uh, when you told me to do that, it caused every single tweet you've ever twatted to show up on my phone. And I was like, <laughs> ha, how about that? I don't remember that. Are you sure? I do remember that when you go to twitter.com slash Schwood, it says it. that you subscribe to Twitter Blue, though. <laughs> Which I don't. And you verified your phone number. And you verified your phone number with Twitter. <laughs> not it's not a shameful thing. <laughs> it's just a way that you spend eight dollars. There's <laughs> nothing different about that. I'm sure you spend eight dollars on plenty of things that would be way more embarrassing, but <laughs> this is something that that is not embarrassing at all. It happens to a lot of boys. <sighs> <sighs> I know one way. I wish. I could publicly announce that I was spending $8. How's that? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Jerk. Get <laughs> <Head> off. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you know, I could do that one for free. <laughs> That's how you'd announce it. You just being a full blur. Dude. Like... <laughs> Just, just, just cranking, and you'd say, "I'm spending eight dollars right now." <laughs> That's how you'd like to do it. Look, he's getting started. That would be that would be less embarrassing than saying that you subscribe to Twitter Blue. Yep. Just you yanking it right in front of people, just pulling your pud, just abusing that motherfucker. Oh, yep. They're going to call the cops because hey, yo! you're beating that meat. <laughs> it's a complicated handshake. It is a cup. That's the <laughs> most complicated handshake. Bryce, we have another topic. Very simple to me. The world's greatest gas. When Brian's not furiously masturbating to cover up his <laughs> social ills, uh, uh, he is the uh, excellent host of uh, and co-creator of The World's Greatest Con, which... The scripted finale is out now. There are more episodes to come in this season, but this is the end of our uh, scripted version of our Project Alpha story, and it got a lot fucking wilder like three weeks ago. Yeah, so uh, I, I, remind me. Were we going to talk about the fact that uh, uh, everybody should go to, you know, uh, uh, follow World's Greatest Con? Or were we going to talk about the fact that you said, yep, that was great. We did a lot of good work. I'll publish it tonight. And then I got a push alert that said, World's Greatest Con, episode four, just got published. I fucked up. I <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up oh, on no. Sunday. And I, I, I literally, we have a text thread in which I say, are you doing a bit? And you're like, I am not. No, it was just me going, fuck, fuck, shit. Oh, well, I guess it's out. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I ran up and published the Patreon one. But yeah, it was out early on Sunday because I literally just fucked up the scheduling dashboard and hit publish thinking it meant schedule and it did not mean schedule. It meant publish. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, episode four is out and it is fucking wild. Because episode four was some shit. Yeah, uh, uh, we got two very important pieces of archive audio that uh, Banachek, uh, who is Steve in the show, and uh, Mike had given us so much stuff. Mike specifically gave us a ton of research material that he had kept. He kept everything, every little scrap of paper from Project Alpha. But uh, Banachek, Steve... I didn't really have much aside from his story. And then as we get further along down the road, he listens to all the different versions of the show. And then he's like, uh, hey, about uh, four days ago. Yeah. He's like, hey, um, do you guys ever do anything with the, the phone call or the Phillips lecture? <laughs> and I was like, go on. The, the what? The what now? Banachek? Then he's like, oh, I guess you just didn't. Wasn't all that important. The, the phone call and the Phillips lecture. And it's like. Um, can you just double send those just so maybe we heard them, maybe we didn't? And what you hear is what's in the episode, which is Banachek recorded 
the first time, and if you are unaware, A, please go listen to it, but it's a story of two teenagers who fool an academic laboratory by saying that they are psychic for four years, and at the end of it, after they reveal that they are frauds on primetime television, the first phone call between either of the two boys and the Mac Lab was recorded by Banachek. Wow. And he literal just, history. Literal history. Literal history. Literal fucking history. And so uh, we, we got it. We cleaned it up as best we could. Uh, we made sure that there is a clip in there where Banachek says, I'm recording. Is that okay? And the person on the other end of the line, Mark Schaefer, goes, sure. Sure, I suppose so. <laughs> Uh, but then there's also uh, a lecture that Peter Phillips gave to a uh, a group. I won't At say I won't say what group, but let's just say that they're psychic entertainers and they are in association with each other. Uh, they uh, uh, but Phillips gave to our knowledge his only public hour long un. Talk. fettered uh, comments about Project Alpha. It was used... literally titled A Mark's Eye View of yeah. Project Alpha. And we used a lot of it uh, uh, in this episode. And this episode was done before. And, and then it became better. Look, I, I, I know there's some number of people who are a little bit hard of hearing and maybe didn't hear the thing you said. But uh, this convention was specifically for what group again? Well, I, I, I don't want to say they're very secretive, but... Well, yeah, like like on their front page, it says, we refuse to acknowledge who is and is not in our organization. Nor can we say where we got the audio from. Oh, no, we, we would never divulge that, yeah. We never, we got it from... But hypothetically... Yeah, we got it from an what, audience member. What group may or may not exist who we suspect might be... Very upset. Very psychic. Very entertainers. <laughs> and very association. But not so psychic that they could have seen this coming. No, no, <laughs> no. But, uh, uh, you know, they couldn't couldn't be nicer. And uh, they, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I hope they enjoy the show. Uh, you know what? I demand they be taken seriously. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com. Slash great night. Is that, uh, do we have another topic? Uh, we do got a few more oh. here. Well, fuck it. Let's go. Wizards of the Coast. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> this story. Oh, my fucking God, this story. So, you know, Magic the Gathering? Oh, yeah. sir. Yes. So they have a new expansion wow. coming that out. That was an, an unambiguous room wide yes. <laughs> <laughs> So they have a new expansion that, coming. That, that, that's always how I used to describe doing the iTrix blog. I say, like, oh, it's a magic blog. Ta-da, not the gathering. Oh, yeah. Uh, so they got a new expansion coming out in uh, May, March of the Machine, the Aftermath. Huh. Uh, anyone excited for that? Well, I, I, there's a rich history of artifacts in Magic the Gathering gameplay, right? Yeah. Well, uh, so about, about a week ago, there's a YouTuber, Old School MTG, who put up a video opening some of the booster packs from this expansion. Okay. This is, I'm sure, rich content. Uh, Magic the Gathering, a, a cornerstone of nerd culture. Yeah. Uh, it's not It's not out. They didn't send it to him. Uh, old school MTG said that they Swear purchased to God, it. One of them from says Bud Light on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> So the video ended up going being taken down uh, to hear old school MTG tell it. Uh, Wizards of the Coast sent Pinkerton agents to his house to what? retrieve the cards. No, uh, when you say Pinkerton, you're referring back to the 19th century where uh, the Pinkerton company would uh, send muscle to they shut were things private, down. private security yeah. that would solve your problem. No, uh, I mean, it is, but it's, I mean, that Pinkerton still exists, and it was that one that so Wizards the, of the Coast. The literal Pinkerton. The literal Pinkerton. The, the actual yeah. literal ones. Well, yeah. uh, uh. I hope you've enjoyed our show so far. <laughs> it ends tonight. <laughs> uh, in fact, Wizards of the Coast. The PEA got us. <laughs> the Pinkerton Enforcement <laughs> Agency. <laughs> Uh, Wizards of the Coast confirmed to Polygon that they had, in fact, hired the Pinkertons wow. agency. Uh, and old school MTG described them as big, heavy hitter guys who frightened his wife. So uh, uh, what was so bad about the cards? Well, 
he wasn't supposed to have them. They're not out yet. They weren't sent as a preview to him. Um, he said he bought them from an acquaintance. Well, uh, wait. And then he made a video. I guess he made a video about opening them. So you did get to see. So wait, I mean, hold I mean, on. Hold on. So, so he deleted the video. He he decided to delete the video. <laughs> Can I just say unequivocally that yeah. however those cards found their way to this person. Yeah whoever this person is, is absolutely not culpable for the fact that they broadcast whatever the content nope. of the cards was. Nope. And if something Fully inappropriate protected. happened, that was the fault of whoever manufactured whatever the cards. Whatever audience member <laughs> took those cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently, and, and folks in the chat have noticed this, this is a similar name to an already existing expansion just called March of the Machine. Um, uh, old school MTGs suggests that maybe the person he bought it from was accidentally given some of these aftermath uh, pa 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 packets and then sold it to him, not realizing they were this unreleased unreleased thing. Well, let's let's assume. I mean, I I, I don't know what the video was. I don't know that the, the tenor. I, like, if it was just a ho hum, like, well, it's Wednesday, let's open some packs, then. I would say that it's more likely that he got some stuff that he didn't realize was as important. If it was like Wizards of the Coast mech aftermath, full reveal, exclusive, like then let's assume it's more like when the iPhone fell into the hands of uh, uh, tech bloggers, right. and that, that would be a very similar instance. Now, in that case, uh, Apple realized that they didn't want to just trash people that like cover their product incessantly, and so there were a few tough worded PR things. And then eventually uh, Steve Jobs called the guy uh, uh, to, to do it to see if he could get the thing back. And I think he did, actually. I think Apple did wind up getting that uh, that, that that test model back. Yeah. But this seems uh, a little heavy handed from old uh, Wizards of the Coast. It definitely does, especially because they're fucking playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, people do get weird about intellectual property. Like, at, at, at the end of the day, like, that's the thing that they want it to be. They want people to be excited about. And also, uh, they can hide behind the fact that if people hated the cards that were out, that they could say, oh, well, that was a test thing. We were That was never to be released. Those, were, those are definitely Sonic with teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those classic Sonic with teeth cards. Yeah. 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 I think we can all agree on one thing, which is, the Pinkertons should never set foot on private property in Austin, Texas. Nope, because we're going to home alone their asses. Yep. Go on. Yeah. Uh, uh, boards with hot uh, oil on them and, and nails. and We're, we're going to set out like, like seven Micro mana. machines. We're going to tap all of them. <laughs> we're going to tap we're all gonna, that We're going to set up some, some uh, uh, mechanical <laughs> You ain't beasts. never seen mana tap like this, Pinkertons. <laughs> I like the Blue Album better. Yeah. So yeah, Pinkerton still alive and <laughs> oh, still alive and well. Uh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Somebody just realized what you were saying. It's fine. Let it. Let it roll. Let it roll. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. Brett, the AC man. <laughs> What's up with your alternating current, sir? Yeah, well, dog. Are you gonna I... take it all the way down to Electric Avenue? Those who know me. Uh, know that I am not just the voice of Great Night, but yeah. I am also an IT professional. So I'm starting with, I'm in the new job being the IT professional, making sure that I impress everybody at my managerial spirit and my, my intelligence and my can-do, go-for-it thing. So as I'm looking through my my tickets that are not mine, they're actually the people who I uh, I, I am the manager of. That's good. I throw, notice throw them under the bus. That says uh, install thermostat, which made me go since when are IT people installing thermostats? That doesn't make sense. And I was like, who who are we installing thermostats for? And the owner of uh, three. Uh, kids in a trench coat corporation business uh, says to me, oh, that's us. That's we're doing it. Uh, it's just something that needs to be done. And uh, so so it looked like an action item for the company. But you read it as uh, you read it as such. And they're like, oh, no, that was just a that's to do just internal. This right, is just an right. internal ticket. You just get. And so I turned to the fella 
who's had the ticket for three weeks mm -hmm. and said, hey, buddy, eh, what's going on here? And he goes, I don't really know how to install a Honeywell thermostat. And I go, ha, 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 I do. I know how to do this. No worries. And everybody's like, really? I'm like, don't worry, everyone. It's all going to be fine. And so I go in and unpack the new thing check out the wiring yep that's the i can i understand what it is i just follow the instructions and and replace the one thing with the other and everybody is all in awe of me and i turn on the ac and it blows hot air yep it's blowing hot air we don't know why that's what happening i'm looking i'm trying to figure the whole thing meanwhile the uh, uh the owner and his wife are like uh, it's uh it's it's getting warmer in here i'm like no worries i'll just and so then i spent the rest of the day trying to figure out why this stupid thing wasn't working and uh i was like you know maybe maybe we should call call yeah. someone maybe <laughs> she called I it like, you know i'll just put it back i'll just put it back to the way it was i'll just put I, it I, back look i i i need to set my thermostat for the right level of schadenfreude here um <laughs> This is like your first or second week on this job. Yes, it is. It's my second week on the job. And you're spending like money they're paying you all day to do. No, I'm still managing. I'm still saying, hey, you guys go do this thing. You still need to check the thing. Okay, let me keep working on this while I'm waiting to find out. It's, it's like as I'm I'm doing it and I, I, I come to the conclusion, okay, this isn't working. I'm just going to set it back to the way it was before. Yeah. So I go in and I set it back to the way it was before. I mean, I've got a picture. I've got everything written down. And it's blowing hot air again. It's still blowing hot air. And it's now 80 degrees in the place. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry. So it ends up uh, we I call a friend because I do commercials sometimes for uh, HVAC places. And so I called in a favor and just said, Hey, uh, could I talk to somebody and just, they tell me what I did wrong. And so I took a picture of the thing. And in the meantime, the owner goes, I've called someone. They're going to come. They're going to come. Oh, so it's Monday. a race now. Yeah. It's like we're coming yeah. on Monday. And so then I spent the day. Well, I don't spend the day. I just spend a few minutes when the person calls me, I take a picture and they're like, no, that all looks correct. And then he said, so did you change the programming on the the thing, you know, before you turned it on? And I was like, what, 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 what programming, what programming am I supposed to? And he goes, yeah, that's what it was. When you change it over, you have to change the coding. So you were all correct. It was just that last part that you did. And he goes, just put that back. I go, it's the end of the day. The guy's coming. And so then today... The guy comes and he's like, "Hey, yeah, like, okay, yeah, there it is." I turn. He goes, "Yeah, yeah, okay." Treat me like a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so he comes in, and 15 minutes later, it's all working. Beep bop fine. boop. <laughs> That's why you paid him so much. Yeah, That's why you paid him so much. yeah. And so everybody, and of course, the owners were like, "You know, you tried." I was like, "You uh, we were that close, so that close, close." It and AC, man. They don't mix sometimes. Yeah. I tack. <laughs> I I type patreon.com slash great night <laughs> into save. my computer. I feel rewarded. Well, explain this. You type in patreon.com slash great night and you feel rewarded. Why? What do you, what do you, what do you I get? I know that I'm supporting a, uh, uh, amazing comedy program for which my best friends do. Yep. I love these boys like nothing else. And also, I get a exclusive bonus podcast each and every Thursday. It's called The Bones, and boy, are they rattling. Oh, my gosh. You know what would be awful? What? If somebody were to put that Behind the Paywall podcast, just the first half of it, into the main we'll feed. Do it. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it. God, this is like they your. Hate that. This is your. This is your thing. Oh no no no! I mean we don't have to. If we were gonna do it last. We're week. doing everybody. it now. We're doing it now. Uh, so everybody. We were gonna do it last. Brian week. got his way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean I I don't like it when other podcasts do it. I I just know that it caused me to subscribe to every other podcast that does it. Yeah. All right. We're That's doing like it. Sounds like you love it. 
uh, I love not having anything incomplete in my feed ever. Here's the only problem that I don't like about it is that when podcasts put out the that I've already subscribed to put out on their main feed the half one. Sometimes I'll accidentally play the half one. And then one. you're like, oh, God damn it. And then I'm like, yeah, like, that, I'm like all right. Well, that's you, why you got to get yourself a, a, a separate app. A oh, separate app? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 only one app just for bonus shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. are you the Sultan of Brunei? Yeah. I ain't got... <laughs> that's fucking Twitter blue money talking. Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh. Pocket Casts lives on one page, and Overcast lives on another page, and all of my uh, 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 paid-for feeds live in... Over Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn. All right. Anyway, patreon.com slash great night. Hey, Bryce, do we have a game? Hello, everybody. We do have a game. Uh, I kind of got this from the New York Times, uh, and then I did a little bit of research. And New York Times! And expanded the... Get a rope. <laughs> Boy, that didn't age. <laughs> This was a story from January 2023. What are these apes trying to say? Take this quick <laughs> quiz. So I'm going to show you a clip of some apes, uh, I believe they're chimpanzees and bonobos, uh, and you're just gonna tell me uh, what they're doing. We'll we'll have it on loop here so you can uh, uh, you can see it. But this is from our friends at the Great Ape Dictionary. Here's uh, our first one here. Uh, what is this chimpanzee, the one scratching its arm, asking the other one to do? Is it saying get away from me, groom me, move into a new position, or jump on my back? We're gonna have uh, both of you give. Answers. Give a guess on this multiple choice game. So, uh, 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 like, 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 this is established science that within these communities, these uh, apes do these things, and, uh, and with they the mean, intention they mean of, of something. Of, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is based off of a study that was uh, released earlier this year, I believe. Um, and so we're gonna go based off of that that study's findings on uh, what different gestures mean for different types of apes. I, I will vouch for the fact that maybe linguistically animals are different than humans or whatever, but like uh, there are definitely full conversations I have with uh, my Weimaran or Joyful where it's like, you know, she'll, uh, I'll say, come on, open, uh, open up the door, get out of here. And then she'll, so she'll sit there and then she'll look at me, look at the bed, look at me, look at the bed, look at me, look at the bed. And it's like, like it's unambiguous that we're yeah. having a conversation. So I, I I do believe that that all of this is legitimate, if not in the you cocoa, are you are the legitimizing their science. Uh, uh, well, th th there are questions about you like are... Coca the gorilla and the well, American that was sign, sign language, language. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. What are the options? Uh, so what is the chimpanzee, the one that's scratching its arm in this video, asking the other one to do? So it's is got its arm straight out, and it is scratching with its other hand up from, like, its elbow to its shoulder. Yeah. The four yeah. options, get away from me, groom me, move into a new position, or jump on my back. It's got to be groom me. Like, uh, because get away from me, you would do a puffed out chest thing, get new, move into a new position. You would shoulder somebody, jump on my back, you would turn around and say, and point to your back. Uh, <laughs> so I think it's got to be groom me. I think it's getting to a new position. Are, are, are we about to do our handshake? <laughs> if only we could remember it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, getting all right. Getting to a new right. position, Brian. Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, we got your answers here. You've said, uh, uh, Brian said, groom I said me. groom me. And Justin said, move into a new position. We were looking for bum bum bum. Groom me. Yay! Yeah. Oh, easy. Damn it. So you get what we're doing here? <laughs> yeah, we you do. Get what, you get what we're doing here? Okay. Yeah. I, I got no. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. No, I was just scratching the oh. arm. This is going to be a bad one for podcast just, listeners. Brian's trying to my, get my me to groom him. My, so, so itch, and itchy. I'm, I'm going to tell him no by furiously masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say, no, sir, you're too old. <laughs> To be groomed. Oh my god! You know, I wanted to uh, take that shit to the blaze. You know, god I'm gonna have to it. say the word "groom" a lot in this game. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Here's a here's a second one. Here, this is a video B. What is this bonobo saying by putting its hand over the other bonobo's mouth? Is it "Let's be friends"? Stop doing that. Give me the food or chew faster. We got it playing here on the screen. You, can you see it? It's it's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can see it. I'm glad Justin's going first. Yeah, Justin, I'm gonna have you first on this. What is the bonobo putting saying by putting 
it over the other one's mouth. Chew faster. You said chew fast? I think it's it's you're chewing too slow. Everybody's been talking about it. Yeah, it's like you subscribe to Twitter Blue up in this bitch. God damn it. You're just a pariah. <laughs> Everyone thinks that you're a piece of shit. You got no soul. Chew faster. That's what I think. I think he's going to say chew faster. But probably. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I'm just a man. I'm just looking at these videos and doing my best to guess in a game. I mean, I'm less interested in what the chimp putting its hand over the other chimp's face is yeah. saying, and more interested in the response of like, fuck you, I don't buy Twitter Blue. Mm. Well, we can't hear on the video, so you're just no, thinking we can't. what it said. Uh, yeah. Telling. <laughs> give, okay. I, give, give me the good. Give me the good. Give me the good? I'm going to, I Wait, mean, that's oh, what it says on the screen. I think it's food. Oh, give me the food. Sorry, I wrote that wrong. Give me that good. I give, me the food. give me the food. Me I good. think he wants that food. That food. Okay, you're going to say food. Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. We got your answers here. Justin said chew faster. Brian said give me that good mood food. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for that good mood food, dude. Ba, ba, ba. Give me the food. Hey! hey! We, got a, we got a real monkey whisperer over here with Rushmore. <laughs> Fucking Dr. Doolittle's on Twitter Blue over here. Okay, so, <laughs> so you got it, right? Uh, now, this is not Check great. me, motherfucker. <laughs> and this might not be great for our podcast listeners, so we're going to do a second round here with no visual aids. I'm going to describe the monkey and what they're doing. You just translate it for me based on this study. Easy, right? Yep. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here's one for you. What does it mean when a chimp reaches its hand out? Does it mean stop doing that, groom me, let's have sex, or give me the food? Where's the who, hand, who, though? Who, who's, Where's the whose hand? Whose turn is it? Brian's going to start first here. Is the hand up or down? Uh, well, the question is, what does it mean when a hand a chimp reaches its hand out? Get the fuck out of here, Gro Bryce. Gro what is groom this? me. Like, we literally just watched a video in no, which No, that's a, outside. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to stick to my answer. Groom me. All right. Groom me. Groom me. Justin, what do you think? It's groom me. It's give me the food. You say give groom me the food. Groom me, my chimp. Wow. This is why Jacob did that. This is why Jacob's going to continue to use that as our walk on music. <laughs> 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 All right. So we got your answers here. Justin said, give me the food, the good mood food. Yeah. Brian said, groom me. We were looking for. Give me the food. Uh, That's a Justin pull on. Nice. Right. Back on the board, baby. That's right. Monkey style. <laughs> Monkeys are our friends. They walk till the end, swinging and eating and grooming each other. We are friends with the monkey pals. We dance around like no one noticed. They're looking around, making <laughs> gestures that the New York Times and around the world. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Austin, little Bryce <laughs> says, I have an idea for a game. I'll do what the monkeys do in a game setting. We'll put points on the board and have a good time. Great night is a podcast that I'm narrating. Meta commentary is rewarding. There we go. There. All right. After three rounds, Brett, what's the score? The score? Why, it's right here on the scoreboard. Oh, really? Bryce? Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Oh. Hey. Which one's which? The score is Brian has two points. Yes. Mm. Justin has one point. He's sticking his hand out. He wants one the food. Point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here's another one for you. Uh, Justin's going to start on this one. Should Should I have insisted that you keep going? Because I would have bought that album. We're really long already. We landed it, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got right. to the meta point. Yeah. All right, here's your question. Bum, bum, bum. Both bonobos and chips primarily express let's have sex when they shake an object. <laughs> what is a secondary meaning of that action for a bonobo? Is it give me the food, let's have sex, move away from me, or groom me? Um, I mean, it's problematic <laughs> if it's move away from me. Uh, 
If I, let's have sex is also move away from me, that's problematic. That's kind of why I think it's move away from me. It might because be. Like, like uh, 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 last time I checked. Wait, it, hold on. Wait a minute. So you're saying that the secondary motion for let's have sex is one of the options is also let's have sex? Okay. Uh, you know what? Here, I'm going to shake my hand in two ways that are virtually identical. All right. Here's the first one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here's Wait, the other one. On. So Bri Brian is. Moving his hand in a closed fist up and down. Hey, close. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Now, what's right. the second one? Now he's oh. now he's moving his hand like he's using the force to jack <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm jacking. I'm telling you to go away. Yeah. I, I think it's go away. I'm just, you will pay eight dollars for Twitter using the force to jack off. I mean, wait, but what's the object that it's shaking? It all depends on the object, right? No. If Go the on. object's it's dick, then you know it's probably not move away yeah, unless but... you want to get hit. But uh, mm. the back I think it's let's have but... sex. <laughs> I think it's a double let's have sex. It means let's have either sex. it's let's have sex or, or let's, let's have, have sex. sex. Yep. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, he's monkeys they, like the they did, fuck. They did say bonobos. Bonobos, bonobos. bonobos. Yeah, bonobos that tracks. But yes goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, what about you? What do you think the second? Oh, I think means? it means go away. I said go away. Okay, there we go. Just here we go. Just ask my wife. <laughs> bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Classic bonobos and practical jokes. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin said, let's have sex. Brian said, go away. We are looking for groom me. Oh, There's no point damn. on that one. My friend. No point. My no friend. Point. There you go. Easy, right? Shaking that bonobo. Bonobo shaking. Rattling <laughs> round the bonobo pen. Reminds me of that uh, Weird Al Yankovic uh, parody. He did. Yep. Of <laughs> the song I just sang. How did that go, Brian? I, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Bonobo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't you remember? It went like, oh, I am the I love Bonobo. Bonobo, Bonobo time. Oh, 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 oh for Bonobo, Bonobo there were. Monkey swinging through the trees. Then he shook his fist and said, Get on your knees. There's a lot of articulation in their masturbation. They were really horny for the bonobos. Oh, bonobo. You are spraying cum. That was the weird, the weird that's, that's one. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah the weird. weird that it just stopped. The weird one that just ends. Kind of a strange, yeah. kind of an abrupt ending on that one. Had come. Did not win an award. No. Oh, it yeah. didn't get In the fact, Tony. It was negative the awards. It got an award taken away. They were sorry. sorry. Yeah. No they Grammys got for life. Another award. <laughs> they said. They said for your album, we will be at your house. We're sending the Pinkertons. Yes. We're going to retrieve <laughs> one of your to, existing We're, we're going Grammys. to remove your blender. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we're gonna steal from you. All right, here's another one for you. I'm going to describe this. Bum, bum, bum. There it is. What is the secondary meaning when bonobos and chimps present their genitals? <laughs> pretend, pretend I spelled genitals correctly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is the secondary meaning for bonobos and chimps who present their genitals? We're looking for the secondary meaning, not the primary one. We're going to start with secondary meaning. We're going to start with oh. Brian on this one. Is it let's be friendly, let's have sex, jump on my back, or give me the food? <laughs> I actually think it's jump on my back. They jump, jump on, my on my back, Jack. I like Gina You don't Tell. need to be a chimpanzee. Come on down. It's me, Gina Tell. I've got all sorts of blenders for you. We got big blenders, small blenders, travel blenders. It's the e -tell guarantee that lets you know that it'll blend for thee. Gina Tell. <laughs> a, a question. In Fountains of Wayne. St. Louis Dispatch here. Yes, Why are you? It's a very, very far from. <laughs> From where we are in New Jersey. <laughs> and also, I'm recording a commercial, not holding a press conference. Why are your genitals out? Uh, okay. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs> yes, my name is Gene Etal. 
Yes, if you put it together, it sounds like <laughs> genital. I've heard it my entire life. Oops, my fly is open and my whole dick went through it. Hold on. Ah, damn. We all make mistakes. <laughs> okay. The media is the fourth <laughs> estate. <laughs> and are they uh, are they often correct or wrong? Yeah. <laughs> We all learn. It's just me, Gina Tell. I'm learning a lesson. I, my zipper was down. My whole dick oh. was through. Wow. My whole dick, both my both my and underwear and my pants. Yep. I didn't notice. <laughs> didn't notice. Since I was a child, I pulled my whole dick and balls out to go pee. Oh. <laughs> it just so happened that the bathroom was drafty, and right. I didn't notice when I came out. And my whole dick and balls were out of my pants. <laughs> my name is Jeannie Tell. I run a blender shop in Fountains of Wayne. I was corrected politely <laughs> by a member of the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Yes. Would you like to buy a blender? <laughs> uh, no. Win some, you lose some. <laughs> Story of Jeannie Tell's life. Oh, my God. Uh Justin, we were uh, <laughs> to you on this one. What is the secondary meaning when a bonobo and a chimp <laughs> present their whole genital? press release and not answer the question? <laughs> how did he? I think I got a good idea of how. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's uh, 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 let's be friendly is the secondary meaning. Mm. What do you think the primary one is? Buy a blender. I think the primary one is let's have sex. Oh, interesting. Brian, we they didn't find out what you thought. Their the, genitals. What do you think the primary one is? I think I already went on this one. Uh, we're, just, we're just making small talk. Uh, I think I said you jump want me to do on. a long improv about Gina Tell? <laughs> I really do, man. <laughs> Only if I'm you can do it by yourself. Show. It's like uh, <laughs> the my, my godson <laughs> was born with a golden voice. <laughs> jump on my back, I said to him. That's the answer. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well. Uh, back scratching. Check it and see. <laughs> It's the story of Gene and me. Who are you? I, I'm I'm the kid of Gene. I'm Gene's godson doing a one man show. Back scratching chickens here. <laughs> I love you. See, he said. Uh, it doesn't. No, no. Great job. <laughs> I was. I would love to believe he's up there saying that right now. I'm in the audience. I'm Gene Tell. You've made your godfather proud here in the Fountains of Wayne Community Theater. <laughs> St. Louis Post Ditch Man Dispatch here. Never mind. <laughs> okay, where were we? Oh, we got your answers here, Justin. Said. Jump on yeah. the back. Uh, Justin said, Jack. let's be friendly. Brian said, do you want to sing again? Uh, said, jump on my back. We were looking for. Let's be friendly. Mm, mm. That's a just. Look at my nuts. Uh -oh. Let's be friendly. Look at my nuts. Uh -oh. Let's be friends. Look at my nuts. Can you take my phone number? L look at my nuts. But just for lunch. Look at my nuts. We are friends now. Look at my nuts. <laughs> this is a good connection. Look at my nuts. Robert Putnam's bowling alone is based on this. Look at my nuts. <laughs> Sociology. The songs do have to end. Like, like I, I know sometimes you like the songs, but you're always disappointed that they end sometimes. I mean, can't, can't they like slow fade out so that somebody <laughs> like a DJ? Look at my nuts! <laughs> Look at my nuts! Look at my nuts! Oh, that's right. Here's a new song. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice segue. All right, it's time for our final round. Hey! Before we do that, Brett. Very quickly, what is the score? The score is, as you can see, two. Two. Oh, look at that. Two. Like two bonobos grabbing both their nuts. Then they're nuts. Yeah. Saying, let's two be and two. Friends. We'll be right back in two and two. Two and two. There we go. That's right. All right, it's time for our final Chuck round. Here. This one's for 10 points. What does it mean when Chuck Woolery scratches his arm? Uh, it means you're about to have a love connection. Mm -hmm. Whether Ooh. you want it or not. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> Am I the only one who thought that Chuck Weller was creepy? <laughs> no. Thought that they actually forced people to date. On the show? Yeah. No, I think that, that's... No, they were, they were all prisoners. 
You think Chuck Weller, like, like, is like, he didn't know. The doors are locked from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should look into her eyes and think that you have a love connection. Or else. I, I, I'm suddenly very uncomfortable with the whole bit. I apologize. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, I'm creepy never Chuck Willery. Okay. All right. Oh, no. Hey, how's your sister doing? Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I said, right around. Oh, poor Chuck. He doesn't deserve that. No, he doesn't. So, uh, uh, At least I'm not talking about him fucking jerking off for once. <laughs> so uh, uh, they had human subjects that took this test uh, as a part of it uh, to figure out if they could decipher these ape actions based on some of the study here. So I'm going to give you four options, um, and you're going to have to tell me which action was the most correctly identified primary meaning in the original research. So uh, which of these four actions were humans the most likely to correctly pick out from videos like we saw earlier? Big loud scratch, mouth stroke, present genitals, or reaching? And like a reaching, reaching hand. Arm. Mouth stroke meant they wanted to fuck. Okay. What? And so you think that's the most Full correctly identified? Which action was the most correctly identified by primary humans. meaning in the original research? Right. right. So they had humans uh, guess Watch. as a part of this, and then they ranked how, how well they actually did in terms mm. of understanding the monkey actions. In other words, like which of these actions was it the most obvious to humans that happened to be correct in what they meant? Grabbing on the nuts. Grabbing present on presenting the genitals. Presenting the gene itals. Yep. Presenting them. Huh. Presenting gene itals. Because, I mean, I think, like, like, everything else, it's like, you know, all right, maybe it's reaching, maybe it's a mouth stroke, maybe it's a big, loud scratch. But when he grabs the babalones, you know, <laughs> something's going down, and you say, okay, well, that's, that's that. It's easy. I mean, but we've already seen that, like, you know, showing your nuts is something that uh, uh, Gina Tell would do accidentally while selling a blender. So it's like, it seems to me like touching the mouth would be a clear Disgraced indication. blender salesman in Fountains of Wayne, Gina Tell has been trying to make right. I... I accidentally had my whole dick and balls through my pants, and it was pointed out, but I'm I'm on the comeback trail. He's uh, sold his blender shop and now is in a hang glider, trying to hang glide from New Jersey to uh, Philadelphia. Well, it's not that far, but I think that if I make it, everyone will forgive me. Oh, no! It happened again! <laughs> Can't improve on perfection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin said present genitals. Brian said mouth stroke. Mouth stroke. Mouth stroke. Who's having a stroke in the mouth? Mouth stroke. Mouth stroke. What's up, my fellow bloke? We're talking about a mouth stroke. <laughs> I'm feeling time. <laughs> don't you don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, um, what if you didn't? <laughs> I'm waiting for, okay, we were looking for Mouth Stroke! Oh! Mouth Stroke, Mouth Stroke. <laughs> Hello, my fellow bloke. Mouth Stroke, Mouth Stroke. stroke. Mouth stroke. <laughs> Hello, my fellow bloke. <laughs> uh, thank you to the New York Times and uh, all, uh, the, the, the research paper that was published in PLOS. Uh, uh, if you've got an idea for a game, an email, message, comment, any sort of nice thing you want to send in, send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this program. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brett. Hey, Brian. Uh, I'm just going to stroke my mouth. Why don't you tell us what we learned? Well, Brian... It's been a long time. time. What the fuck? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Brett made one promise today, which was that he was going to land the episode, and now you're fucking right. with him. I'm it's ready. fine. It's fine. It's all right. All right. All right. Here we go. One more time from the top. Three, two, one, go. Well, Brian, <laughs> what we've learned is it's been a long time getting from here to there. Oh, wait. That's a different one. If... Also, if your name is Joe Byron, don't you do it. Don't you do it, Joe Byron. Also, when praying to God, if you use a slur, oh, he'll allow it. And the genie tell. You brought it up. 
Genie Tell says, Hooray. <laughs> That's what we learned. That's what we learned. We learned that Gina Tell says hooray. hooray. Yep. His All brother right. Dave's going to be real upset. You know what? Keep talking about him. <laughs> Still been a great night. <laughs> Still a great night. Shine on you, crazy <laughs> diamonds. You no, there's never been hooray. a greater night, a single better, later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>